Boss Sarah. You know, a lot of emotions today, it seems like, before the game, during the game, a lot of things happen during the game. You won the game. Uh, how will you put that all in perspective today? Maybe tonight, just thinking of the last, last few hours. Um, yeah, I mean, tonight was just a special night in general. Um, it being our last, you know, regular season Big Ten game um, at home, and obviously senior night is something special. Um, but, um, yeah, it was just a lot of emotions, a lot of love. I mean, I, I love playing here uh, the past two years. I love my teammates here, my coaches here. Um, so coming out with a win tonight was, was definitely big, and it was a special night. Sarah, you said in the video that they played post game, you dedicated the season to your grandfather. How much has that fueled you, you know, going going through this season? Um, yeah, I mean, my family is just really important to me, um, and it was obviously just really special having my my grandma, and my aunt have been to almost every home game, um, which is really special to me. And they give me a lot of strength. Um, they've been there for me through all the highs and the lows. Um, so yeah, I dedicated the season to him, and it's been, you know, obviously tough without him, but definitely a source of strength for me. Sarah, you said in the video that these have been the best two years of your life. Just what will you take away from these two years, and what have you loved most about being here? Um, oh, definitely the people. The people here, uh, they're awesome, and, you know, they, they, this whole program welcomed me in with, with open arms, um, and just really made me feel comfortable, not only as a player, but as a person here too. And um, I've just, I've had a lot of fun um, being able to play alongside my teammates. And it's been, it's been a really fun two years I've had. Sarah, I mean, obviously senior day means a lot to you, but Mackenzie, were you guys holding your breath to wait to hear, you know, she was okay? What was that like with her going down? Just, you know, seeing that since, her history with you know knee injuries and things like that. Did you, those guys just waiting to hear you know that she was cleared? Um, yeah, I mean we we don't know much about that, but uh, obviously it's scary whenever Mackenzie goes down for sure. Um, she's dealt with a lot throughout her career as far as injuries. Um, so obviously we hope for the best. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a scary moment there. Yarden, you had four three pointers. You hit back to back in the first half. This place went absolutely crazy when you hit that second one when you just pulled up and drained it just talk about how you were feeling today and the confidence you had drilling those three pointers I mean I love playing in front of our crowd uh, our fans are amazing I know coach has confidence in me so I was open I just took the shot like and I really glad it went in <laughs> Yarden, we've heard a lot about your connection with Mackenzie Holmes. Just what has she meant to you and developing your game? Um, so the last years, the last year, I walked out with her like almost every day to being able to watch All American and the kind of person she is every day, how she's working out with Coach Red and what she's doing and how she got to this point that she's such a good player. Um, it means a lot of me, and even like outside of court, the court, she took me in last year and tried to teach me everything, how to do, uh, how, how, what is the right way to work out, what is the this program means to everyone here, and she tried to teach me everything she can. So I really appreciate her, and I'm sure I will miss her a lot next year. Sarah, I know we still got a lot of season left here, but do you have any idea what your plans are post college? Um, well, I definitely want to continue playing basketball, whether that's, you know, here or overseas. Um, that's ultimately, you know, the main thing. I just want to keep playing basketball, but definitely focusing on the postseason here um, for sure. Sarah, 31-0 and in regular season games in your Indiana career. What's this environment like? What's this, what's this place mean to you? Oh, yeah, it means everything to me. I mean, um, when I went into, you know, the transfer portal from Minnesota, a big thing for me was winning. Um, and that's what Indiana does. That's what that's what Coach Morin does. So that was a big thing for me, and that's that's what we've done a lot of the past two years, and um, it's what I came here for. Um, and it's definitely fun being a part of a team that's you know really committed to winning and um, working hard to do that. Um, for for both of you over here, um, the job is not done. Now March is here. Um, just your thoughts on that and the opportunity that awaits you. I mean, we all remember what we felt after last year. So we all really, really want to show out in this postseason. 
we know what it means for everyone and we don't want to feel the same as last year. Um, yeah, I mean, we work all off season, um, all preseason and definitely during the regular season to, to get to the postseason. And um, we, we obviously want we want to peak at that time, but um, it's definitely something, you know, we don't want last year to repeat something like that. Um, but I think we've learned from that and we'll go into the postseason um, really motivated.